This is Keisha. He's my 10 year old student. My name is Jim Martineau. I'm the designer of the, this particular double headed rag called the Diamond. We're here in Redondo Beach, California on a nice sunny day, May 2012. This is Redondo High School, where my wife graduated about 30 something years ago. I started playing tennis on these courts. They didn't look like this. They were old and cement cracked. Gray. But I have very fond memories of this place. Keisha is showing off uh, that a 10 year old can take the, this incredible technology that we developed here and do some amazing things. Lionel Burt is the one who introduced uh, myself and my friends to this double handed racket. He got the patent for the angled double handed uh, designs. We have two of them. Diamond and a freestyle, which is the one you know, that Brian Battistone uses. You, many of you know he's my student, I'm his coach. Uh, for many of you know him from seeing him on YouTube on for the jump surf, he uses the, the uh, freestyle version. He's used this also, he's won some pro matches using the diamond. But he started with the V shape first, so he's, he's more used to that. But, uh, He'll be out with me, he'll be traveling across the United States and, uh, and the world, bringing both of these designs to uh, children everywhere, and to adults and pros and everybody. Two of the most famous sports engineers in the world, Gary Felice, Jim Easton's chief engineer, and Kojin Chang who was the head research and design guy for Wilson for about 10 years. They were, they were, they both helped me develop this design that I came up with and uh, we think we have something special here. Gary Felice was the guy who uh, made Wayne Gretzky's two-part hockey stick and a couple of years later about 67% I think of uh, all pro players were using them. Gary also made the aluminum bat, and that swept across the world, transforming high school and little league, and I think college and you know, baseball players everywhere. Um, what, we, what they've helped me do here is create a rack of technology that uh, we think gives the most stable drive line of any rack it ever made. Not just our double-handed rackets. Double-handed rackets have been legal. They're ITF approved. Okay, uh, They've been playing around with this. It's very traditional, actually. Some people think we're breaking tradition, but actually, this double-handed racket I think has been around at various versions of double-handed rackets for about a hundred years, if I'm not mistaken. Jim Easton, the famous Jim Easton, showed me a book about how old the double-handed racket uh, actually is. It's very traditional in tennis, but nobody could ever make it quite work or believe you uh, sell people on the idea that this could work. But now we have uh, some, uh, just an all-star team of people backing us up, showing off the technology and what it can do. Keisha is doing a good job here. It gives incredible stability. It gives power, it's stable power and incredible leverage. That's what this uh, that's what this racket does, and I hope a lot of coaches and uh, parents will give it a try. We're we're very very excited. I'm a national champion uh, tennis player. I used a double-handed version to win that in 2009 men's hard courts, yeah, 45 nationals. My student Brian Bastone played the U.S. Open in 2010 with a double-handed racket. He got a lot of coverage. I had his picture taken with Rafael Nadal and Roger Federer that year. <laughs> People think we're crazy, but <clears throat> we're going to show <clears throat> the world 
that this these rackets are the future of tennis. At least it's gonna it's gonna take a big piece of the market because of what a player can do. Good job, he's enjoying himself here. <laughs>